and then you'll die. <laughs> Hey there, YouTubers. Trifact Determinus here. I'm taking a look at uh, Between the Stars. Put it right between your eyes. We're uh, going to continue the uh, prologue. And uh, or maybe we should just start the campaign. It's still in early access, so even the campaign's not complete. But uh, you know what? Let's do that. Normal mode, permadeath mode. Let's do permadeath mode. Huh? And let's do it hard. Why? Because America. If you deactivate, don't run on that road. No, we'll definitely keep that on. Dice combat on. We'll do that too. Oh, what kind of ship do we want? Well, we don't want this one. Is this the one we had? Small cruiser. Resistance is bad, shields are restored for two. And this one is a Class C cruiser. <laughs> That's a stellar transport armament. These missiles? Yeah, okay. Okay, that works. Continue. Increased reload time. Engineer, engine power. Increased damage for impacts on the hull. Better missiles, but worse lasers. So we're going to take that. adjacent to test Stella. The War Council will not be held for another two days. Understood, May. We'll take advantage of the downtime to supply our ship and patrol the area. Input coordinates to the nearest space station. No need, Captain. Our power levels will let us fly for at least another two weeks. We've spoken about this, May. The crew is exhausted. They've been eating nothing but synthetic proteins for a month. They need a breather. Aye, Captain. Coordinates set. Abandoned ship with one of the melee after the chosen. Alright, get the suits ready. We're going in. Pilot, take us to the next target.
Grenade launchers. The scumbag was hiding like a rat. He assaulted us from behind. Most of your report's findings, everyone agrees that there's no trace of any other survivors on board. <sighs> My MIA system. The ship seems damaged. There's no other clues to follow. You prepare to leave the ship. You're barely a couple of steps from the exit when you seem to hear one of your crew members call you from behind. What is it? No one said a thing, sir. Suddenly you feel your hands grow heavy. You look down at them. The same stone the man was clinging to before he was executed is now in your hands. You now remember what exactly it is you picked up, but you can't seem to sort, or can't see that it is some sort of tablet, ancient tablets. Okay, let's head back to the ship. All right, let's go get those doodads. Okay. So, did we, did one of our people get injured? Nobody's upgradable. Maybe this guy, no, 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 no. Okay, systems, departments, sick bay. Nope, nobody's injured. Okay, good. All right, well, let's go to the next one, shall we? Should be taking an enemy dress signal. The ship seems to be quite disoriented without occupants. Let's try it in that. Hold the dice. And we didn't get it three or five. Okay. Doesn't allow you to see it. Okay, well, let's board the ship then. The target. May prepare boarding protocol. And we're gonna get this stuff first. That's not the... That's going to leave a mark. Slow down. Okay. Stop. Okay. Shield. Just in case. I kind of want to let my shields run up a little bit more. Oh, wait. What's that? Are there any others? Nothing there. Okay, let's go. 50% shields better than nothing.
Although there are no survivals, the ship contains valuable resources, so you decide to send a group to inspect the ship. You couple the two ships with the boarding team in order to get start the operation. Um, opening the door, the ship produces a big explosion that damages the boarding team and the hull of your ship. It was a trap. Okay. Great. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get out of here. Can't fire missiles while we're flying. Dice in the dining room. Let's go ahead and stop the movement. Uh, what does that mean? Dice in the dining room. Um, let's go to departments and let's see if we can't put this guy in sick bay. Yeah, that totally should have been done. Nothing there. Systems. Okay, missiles. Ancient tablet. Okay. Not sure what those are, but that's definitely an engine. Tasks. Dice in the dining room. Okay. Yuki. Uh, the exact blah blah blah. Hit the U key. Bridge. Exit. Okay, a long, a long yawn echoes from the command bridge. The crew is long retired for rest, and the deathly silence, along with the dim lighting of the monitors, you pushed you to, have pushed you to the limits. You speak out. Um, M I A, my, may. I'm going to rest a while. Let me know if there's any news. Roger that, Captain. I got this. Uh, you get up to stretch your back and run your hands over your belly. You had your last meal a short while ago, but your stomach is rumbling with hunger. Go to the dining room. You go down to the stairs and walk down the hall in silence during those quiet moments. The ship seems like a different place. Nothing to do with the busiest hours now that you're in the corridors. Listen, I was in the army, okay? So I've got like an eighth grade reading level, so don't judge me. Uh, now that the corridors are, and most of the rooms are empty, you enjoy your leisurely stroll. The hatch to the dining room opens, you step inside. At one of the tables, several of your crew members laughing, they're engrossed in what they're doing, although they don't pay much attention to them. You go straight to one of the fridges and grab a piece of fruit. Myers, would you like to join us, Captain? Get closer to them. Uh, you take a bite of your fruit and walk over to the table. He rolls the dice and stands up in excitement. Devil betrayal in your face. The crew members are playing The Fleet, a very popular dice game. The goal is to add figures and subtract lives from the rest of the players. The last player alive wins. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, you take another bite, leave the room after everything. You've been through, you're too tired, yeah. I'm not gonna play dice with the with the crew because that's not all that great or not a great thing to do as the captain okay let's go ahead and get back into it shoof and those missiles are just out there what's that hmm there's something out there don't know what it is, but I'm going to find out. Looks like a debris. I bet you there's some loot over there. Yeah, I can already see some blue. Maybe we'll see. Okay, there's something in there. There's something over there, too. Uh, 
Let's go for that one since we know it's hittable. It's a freaking long shot. I guess my missiles have exploded now. They haven't made it there. Okay, that's okay. Let's go over here. And then let's come back. Right in there. Last attack, so blah, 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 blah. give them storage along with well, I'm expecting the worst. Damn it, take a couple of hours, reignores it. Great. After a while, two crew members, you distribute your work. Uh, you're in the middle of counting supplies when someone screams in shock. Shit, that thing bit me. What was that? You run to where it, he is, and you see a strange creature that had come out of a box. Meyer was organized. Don't move. Let's shoot it. Nine, two, I don't know. Six, up to, oh yeah, okay. Creature speed isn't enough to elude your shot with a millimetric precision. <laughs> you hit it, killing it. Splitting it in half, you look towards <coughs> you look towards your comrade, but he's not looking so good. Uh, you look back to the target, repulsed. You hear moans. Okay, you had to admit you didn't expect that. Well, I didn't expect anything. So you look everywhere in search of some container. You run a vacuum. With caution, you approach the creature with your intention of catching it, but it is faster than you thought. You try again a couple of times, but it seems to anticipate your movements. Okay, man, that's going to be a tough one. Nine, eight, two. No, definitely not. Come on. So it looks like you're teammate is poisoned. That's not good. So that's that, definitely not the one you want. Let's see if we can't put him in sick bay. Actually, departments sick bay you can't. Okay, tasks killing time. Still doing killing time. Okay. Okay, well, let's get our butt over there. Oh, didn't even see that. Could have totally ran into it. Of course. Where are they? Where are they? Activate the weapons. All through the battle yeah. station. Hmm. Okay, missiles are good. One of the enemy ships has been destroyed. Yeah, 
Alright, well, let's kill the other one now. Okay, that's two. Target's neutralized, crew. We're out of danger. All right, and nothing bad to show for it, so that's good. Comms chief, request permission to dock. Dock twelve. Dock at the assigned bay. Over. Alright, let's dock. America. Alright, where to? Hangar, commercial zone, arcade, travelers. Somebody goes for sure. You take a break since you have to stop supply ship uh, visit the taverns. Yeah, let's go to the hangar first. And that's what I've got. And there's no other ships there for sale. Okay. <laughs> cool your weapons. Well, since I don't have... Station stash, systems department, crew members tasks okay let's repair everything okay what's this flat cannon flak cannon no no yeah. MK1 MK4 So 950, 13, and 160 13, 160, okay, it's the same Less damage And slower Light guided missiles Ion reactor. Laser. Range is 600. Hold damage. Okay, wait, hold on. Range is 450. Range is 950. Speed 13. 8 damage. Okay, so that's what that is. I guess. Oh yeah, the reactor. There's another gun slot here. So you know what? Let's not 
build that. Instead, let's build a gun. Canada of the Republic. Hull damage 10, shield damage 5, hull damage 38, shield damage 15, hull damage 8. Okay, so this is what we're going to build right there. And it won't let us build it. Because we don't have enough. Okay, that's the commercial zone. Let's go uh, hang out in the bar, Bari Bar. You and your crew enter the venue, which seems quite lively. People of all sorts are drinking, and as if there's no tomorrow, sitting at tables scattered the entire place. Only a few of them are empty. You sit down, and seeing that nobody comes to wait on you, you and a couple of your crew go to the bar to order. You raise your voice so the bartender can hear you. And the lady behind the bar quickly hands you a few jugs filled with the frothy beer. America. You take the jugs, not the bartender's jugs, but the jugs of beer, and you head to the table where the rest of your men and or women are waiting. You've barely taken a few steps when a man bumps into you from behind, causing you to stumble. The jars fall on the ground, breaking into a thousand pieces and making a mess. Watch out. All right, um, you know how this is going to end. It's not the first time some drunk spoils your leisure hours. You look up without saying a word, merely mentally getting ready for the fight. The stranger says, excuse me, Captain, it was my fault. Well, it's been a long time since you heard someone apologize, especially in a place like this. Um, all that encounters you've had lately have ended up in tears. And... Uh, Someone's taking care of that on the way. Another, you, know, you get in trouble, you smile. You're becoming paranoid. You actually need to drink much more than you thought. Okay, don't worry. I'm really sorry I didn't see you coming through. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Jimmy Book, captain of the Horizon Recovery Ship. The Horizon Recovery Ship? Like, uh, uh, what was the name of that? Sh like, um, what was that show where, uh, the ship had made a jump and then uh, had like taken on like demonic whatever possession. I think the Horizon was actually the uh, recovery ship that uh, picked that up. What the heck is that horror movie? I can't remember. Huh, doesn't matter. So the Burly Man looks over your shoulder at the table where his team is sitting from a distance. I'm really sorry about the drinks, the beer here, place is suspended. Allow me to invite you for a round. Sure. Man approaches the bar again. You sit next to those particular men. Captain Peter Camel arrests his crew. We had to run in at the bar, so this round's on us. At least we can do for the Republic, after all. You pay our bills. More than half of the ships we take care of are yours. That sucks. Seem to realize what he said and lowers his head. I'm sorry. What I meant to say as well. You take a long time. So, space recovery, huh? That's right. We take care of rescuing what remains of ships that are floating adrift. Uh, I don't like putting it like this, but since the war began, business has been really good for us. Of course it has. Uh, it's impossible not to feel some sympathy for Brooks and his group, although their task is different from yours. Both teams have a lot in common. You hit it off easy. There's only been one ship that we failed to recover. This transporter, a third generation engine, is true beauty. What stopped you? So this men feel silence. That ship is cursed. You're rather shocked. You know, don't believe in superstition. And cursed? Yeah, we entered the ship forcing the hatches open. Life support was completely disabled, so we weren't expecting to find anyone alive. The atmosphere inside the ship was weird, but it didn't give it any importance. We moved to the command bridge, and that's when we saw her, a woman, pale and completely unflappable. I don't know what that means. 
She stared at us motionless until she began slowly approaching us. I yelled at her not to come any closer and even drew my gun, but the woman walked through me without hardly touching me. All the hairs on my body stood up, and then we ran. Nothing. It was completely empty, so we fucking ran. Okay, I swear it's on my ship. Blah, blah, blah. It's impossible. So if you're so sure, you can check for yourself. Here are the coordinates. I'll keep that in mind. And go back to the ship. Okay. So, what does the arcade have to, uh, have to hold? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, start the combat. Roll the dice. Okay, I got to shoot. You didn't get to shoot. That's good. Roll the dice. Shields? On two. Reserve roll. Roll the dice. We're both shooting. Okay. Hey, everybody shoots. But we're shooting more. Roll the dice. Guns a blazing. Okay, we won. Victory is ours. Now let's go. Okay, so we've done that. We've done that. I can't believe there's nothing for sale, which kind of sucks. We can hire these people. Um, but I was kind of hoping that, uh, we could buy some stuff. Passengers, inventory, armament, blueprints, no blueprints. Okay. Healing plasma. Bulletproof vest. Healing plasma. And then this thingy. Alright, well, let's go. And let's exit. Let's go find that... Let's go find that shippy. Shippy ship ship. Cursed ship. Let's go and find it. How about skis? Task. The cursed ship. Select this one. Exit. Alright. Gotta go to the Rofumi section sector. Where are we? We're here. We're gonna go here. Alright, let's zoom, zoom, zoom. Well, that doesn't look good. Although that does look good. And Rofumi. Full stop. Captain, we're getting some very strange readings. What do you think, huh? May, focus the sensors on the signal from coordinates 15008. Augmenting the scale. Decoding commanders. I detect high radiation readings, but I cannot locate the source of the emission. Crew, exercise extreme caution. We're heading to the source of the signal. Okay. You descended the ship dining room despite everything that's happened in the past weeks. You're feeling exceptionally well for the first time in a while. Hours of sleep, blah blah blah. You out of the room. Inside some of the crew says hi. Wallace Curry. Curry? Serving trays. What do we want? Okay, yeah, fullness. Okay, you catch yourself covered. Uh, Okay, we'll make a visit. Okay. 
that's what I'm looking for. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's go to the distress signal first. And there's an antique shoppy. So I think missiles are definitely the way to go. They just totally ignore um shields you know you just gotta watch the way you shoot them what is that all about you arrive at the coordinates where the ship awaits you the engines are turned off open communication with them and the completely withered man appears in his adult eyes sucking in the sockets surrounded by several circles but nothing's on uh, Captain, we need supplies. Pirates assaulted us. Okay, let's board the ship. The target. May prepare boarding protocol. What kind of men are we going to be? Those that save sailors at sea? Or those that let the sailors starve? was weird. As soon as you board your ship, you can see a sorry state of the crew. Just dozens of people are in rooms there. Some of them are unconscious as soon as you see them. Captain draws strength from the weakness and addresses you with tears. Please, Captain, my crew is on the verge of death. We've been stuck here for weeks without food or reserve fuel. Please save them. The man ends the speech up, collapses on the ground. Yeah, no, we'll take care of them. After a couple of hours... Both the crew and the captain have gone through a medical examination and seem to be eating and hydrating their recovery here. Captain looks like this crew will recover. The vital signs are getting better. Seems that they'll recover quickly, even though there's something that worries me. Some of them are in a clear, of course they are. Well, they've been through a lot. Yeah. I understand, but I must assist again. We've spoken with everyone, and among their testimonies, they seem to be enough discrepancies. Some claim that the pirates didn't take all the supplies. Others say they did. 
Many also differ among how many of them boarded the ship and how many losses were caused. Seems they're unclear. Let it be. Okay. Let's go take a look around the ship. Okay, you walk through. Crew members, it seems. There's a textbook assault. They entered the ship firing people who offered resistance and then robbing the warehouse. Left the ship. You had... Heard the story several times. Let's investigate the kitchen. You open the airlock. Smell floods. Poor you enter. You didn't know. Was trying to protect yourself from a terrible strange one. You see five plates full of mold. That was surely their last meal. Surviving water tanks. Uh, important. Great idea. One of the counters from which the smell comes is completely stained with dried blood. And which okay, that's that sounds like um, cannibalism. So I just remembered that uh, movie I was talking about. I think it was called The Event Horizon. Okay, so back to these guys. Thinking they cut some folks up and ate them. You return, Captain notice your absence, comes to thank you, since you're looking but avoiding looking directly at you and its expression, you can feel the shame. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. Huh, that's cool. Good luck. Addressing you, sir, I brought you the report you requested. Uh, okay. She's standing there still. She caresses the tablet you left on the table. What are you doing? That you lately seem to keep this tablet near you. Tell me what's so special about it. Um, that's what I'm trying to find out. Maybe I could help you. Let me take it for a while. Maybe we can find out more about it. Without a word, you approach him and raise your hands with the intention of taking the tablet. Suddenly, he grabs one of your wrists firmly Come on, Captain. I'm sure I can help you. What do you think you're doing? I'll overlook it, Curry. Uh, Curry, but you've been under a lot of stress lately. But something like that again, and I assure you, that you'll never such serve on a ship again. Yes, Captain. I did. I did not mean to grab you aggressively. Okie dokie. And now you're exhausted. Great. Alright. Let's go to the cursed ship. Why? Because the event horizon told us to. The Genesis. Things that make you go, hmm. Prepare the suits. Don't tell me you're scared, for God's sake. We've been on thousands of wrecked ships. I'm not scared, it's just I'm not... I'm just saying, there are things that escape our understanding. Alright, let's go. Pilot, take us to the next target. Don't be a girly man. Or girl, I'm not sure. Oh, let's do that. Let's 
go to sleep here for a couple of hours if it'll let me and it won't hmm That's weird. Despite having all its lights up, there's no evidence that the ship was abandoned. The hull is intact, and without the slightest sign of combat, for a recovery team like Brooks, that would have meant hitting the jackpot. You enter the ship through the hatches that are already open. Inside the transporter doesn't reflect any damage at all, as does the outside of the ship. Engineering quickly began typing the active terminal. Taylor, well, this is... what is it? We've been able to access some sort of record, Captain. It appears the systems have been manually disabled. The reactor life support basic systems such as gravity control remain, but the rest of the systems have been intentionally disabled. Very positive. The logs don't show any errors. Question, okay, can you reactivate them? No way, most of the ship doesn't receive power at all. Maybe we can have I, my access the system from the command bridge and take control. It's pretty unusual anyway. Why would somebody deactivate the life support? Deactivation of the life support is impossible without the Captain Express confirmation. So what happened? I think this is the first time I haven't heard your voice so Longmire. If it didn't know you, I'd say you brought in the Captain's story. Meyer? You look nervously. There's no sign of Meyer. Just a few minutes ago, he was behind you. You draw your weapon and gesture with the rest of you. Something weird is happening. Something strange is afoot. Uh, you better find out what it is before it's too late, even if you still don't believe the Event Horizon crew. <laughs> Crewmen don't disappear. Scream from around the corner makes your blood go cold. And you identify the voice. It's Meyer. You run as fast as you can down the hall around the corner. And you see the back of your crew member who's standing in the dark. Um, are you okay? Without saying a word, he turns. His expression is impassive. He's moving his lips as if to whisper something to you. You take a step forward slowly, holding out your hand. The scream of Meyer bursts your ears through the intercom without having time to react. He turns and runs towards you while still screaming. It's too late. It looks like he's going to ram you. In just a second consider opening fire but hesitate with no with that no longer an option you cover yourself and wait for the tackle you open your eyes slowly while listening to Myers laugh through the communicator wow you should have seen your face almost shit your pants have you lost your mind I almost shot you yeah that was hilarious I can't believe even you fell for it I swear it's about to <sighs> Cut the crap. Turn your head and see her behind you. What, what in the, what in the fuck? When Captain Pierce, <coughs> stop or we'll open fire. The woman keeps moving towards you and gets closer. You can see her face is stained with blood. You open fire. The bullets and lasers go through the woman without affecting her. She continues to move forward until she stops right in front of you. You and your crew are paralyzed by terror. Brooks was right. Whatever that thing is, it's clearly not human. The woman gently raises her hand as she looks you in the eye. No, she doesn't look at you. She actually looks right through you. Hi, Ryan. Are you all in the dining room already? Already. The woman's hand goes through your chest. That's right. Dit. The entire crew is down there. Join me. You're going to love this. You look back. Nothing in the darkness for the man approaches the woman. Okay. You have to wear this. The captain has ordered it. The woman smiles, tied to the cloth, covering her eyes a bit. Okay. I already told you it wasn't necessary. What's going on here? It looks like holograms. Okay. A recording probably of the last supper of the ship. Oh, no, I the first thing so it doesn't explain what happened to the ship you put your weapons away and gesture to the queue let's follow them happy birthday yay 
One of the holograms on the team is speaking. Judging from his uniform, he's the captain. His tone seems jovial and cheerful, but his eyes are whitish and dull, just like Ryan's. Today, tur- Dit Dit turns 25. It seems like yesterday when she joined the ship, she was just a cute little girl. That's not creepy. So scared. Look at her now. A full-fledged woman. You've become a great woman. I just wanted to let you know. Thank all you guys. How did you know today was my birthday? Captain was holding something ceremonial of your birth. Da, da, da. Don't be on modest. Captain of the Horizon. Don't be modest. My... This was your idea. I'd like to continue watching this. Still remember her face she made. Captain to, of the transporter, Maya remains, uh, reminds us whenever she can. You should have thought twice before. Oh, okay. So the AI went rogue. Okay, I think the is each and every one of them is frozen. Well, you can only hear static coming from the communicator. What happened? The hologram disappeared a few seconds later. You watch the group a moment. Deet and Ryan are missing. They're coming. Everyone be quiet. My, don't even think about spoiling the surprise. The hatch opens. Happy birthday, Dit. Uh, okay. Let's go to the command. Oh, uh, wait. Let's follow Dit. Enter Dit's cabin. Pick up the diary. Five years since I came aboard. I told me to wait for Ryan in the corridor in front of the dining room. They believe I didn't know that they're throwing a birthday party. Crew's been acting funny during the whole week just because I told Mai that the date was getting closer. Poor people. They've tried so hard and I'm not going to disappoint them. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, the party about some meeting. Blah, blah, blah. The captain seems concerned, although he's trying to hide it. Today I overheard Ryan and Ashley talking about my system, giving her trouble. I hope it's nothing serious. Mai is one of their crew. Without their ship wouldn't be the same. Today... The engines have stopped for a few hours. Okay. Uh, angry and my hasn't said a word for days. I'm afraid. I already decided we're heading to the to get some spare parts and replace the ship's my system. Keep reading. Something's wrong. My cabin hatch has been locked for several hours, and I still haven't heard a word from anyone of the crew. After the errors from last couple of days, it's going to leave you a malfunction, blah, blah, blah. I hope Ryan and the others, blah, blah, blah. I haven't had the strength to write since the incident soon, as my cabin hatch didn't open. I knew something was really bad. Uh, it went dark, cold, cut through my skin, although some of the hatches are still blocked. I managed to get to the spacesuits. Oxygen levels are low. I made a detour through the dining room to get them hatch open and that's when I saw the columns right they're all dead their bodies are still there lying at the terminals swollen blue yeah I've gone through the logs went down and I was left in my cabin it seems like a bug in Mai's logic system has led her to disable the reactor along with life support <sighs> we would have all died but Collins and the others managed to reestablish some of the energy flow and the reactor life support the lower decks. Thanks to them, I am still alive once again. Why is completely out of control? Okay. Okay. Can't say it anymore. The cold, just blah blah blah. the crew for several days, walked through the ship's corridors, I guess I finally got insane, decided to have kind of, okay she's gonna smoke herself goodbye okay Or 
going through the corridors, the upper deck, you reach the command bridge. To your surprise, the terminal seemed to be active. When you put your hand on it, it opens. Some of the monitors are still on, displaying long error messages. The lights are off. The room is lit only by the screens and reddish emergency lights. On the floor, you find frozen bodies of several men and women. Unlike Dit's body, this time there's no trace of blood. All the bodies have glassy eyes, and they suffocated. This must be the captain. Engineer gets on the turbo. Meanwhile, the others help. Blah, blah, blah. You don't know who they were or what their role was, but really feel sorry for them. Family, blah, blah, blah. Go back to the command deck. Hours go by. They dig deeper into stit related her diary. Life support fell along with the rest of the systems due to the th malfunction. Tail and the others read the error logs, try to access artificial intelligence, which is my, but there's no response. After a few more hours, Taylor comes to you. We've tried everything we could, but we can't move forward. The my system's logic core is completely corrupted, except for a couple of base modules. Everything else is useless. It's impossible to know. Blah, blah, blah. Scrub doesn't even start to activate her, but the system invalidates us over and over. We can run a deep scan to determine her state and emotional modules return very unstable values. Oh. Despite our best efforts, we've only gotten the same answer, which is kill me. Okay. Hmm. Do we destroy the ship or do we leave it? Where is the ship? Oh shit. Back up, back up, back up. Oh, no, 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 no. Turn that off. Okay, engineer. Increase engine power, okay. And let's uh, see if I can't get my butt to sleep. Okay, I'm no longer exhausted. Now I'm a veteran, okay. Exit. And... Let's see what that is, and uh, I think after we do that, we're going to get our butt to the space station, and, um... These look like the remains of a ship, Captain. This isn't the debris of just any ship. These are the remains of Captain Scott's flagship, the Genesis. The Genesis! I'm sorry, Captain. We know how much you admired her. Scott was the captain in charge of my training during my years as a recruit. I owe her a great deal of who I am today. Prepare the life support equipment. We're going in. On your orders.
Come on, man. Okay. All right, let's go get the Genesis. Search the ship. Do you think it's possible? We must try. Search the core. Okay, we got the core. Let's access the bridge. Upgrade. Oh, come on, really? Great. Booyaka. An eight. Come on. Okay. I still can't believe it. The Genesis was the most powerful ship of the Republic. I'm surprised that the children. All right, let's go there so first. Nartos's ships outnumbered our ships by a wide margin. The probability of success was extremely high. I'm sure the captain's got it. May set a course to the general headquarters. We'll inform Admiral Flynn of the situation after the war ends. Won't have been the Scott ship as if it were space trash. Yep. Hangar. Let's see if there's anything for sale. And there isn't. Exit. Go there first. Try again. Leadership. Okay. Ah, uh, let's try again. No, and again. Good. America. Yeah. Oh, come on. Niner. Come on. Fucking bullshit. Eight. <clears throat> Nine. Fuck. Okay. That's it. Stop playing. Go back to the ship. It's obviously rigged. <laughs> Shh. 
Sure. Okay. All right. Let's get out of there and let's uh go dock ourselves in a Allied space station. All right, boys and girls. Well, thank you for coming and watching. Hopefully, uh, you're enjoying this. Ah, oh, shit. I take it back. Let's get some missiles out. And, uh... Congratulations. You've made it onto my blacklist. Great. Just launches all these guys. Yeah. One of the enemy ships has been destroyed. Yeah. Great job, crew. Get it. Do, do, do. All right. <coughs> As I was saying. Thank you for coming out and watching. Hope you like this game. I think it's really great. I think it does a lot of stuff really well. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. Hope all is well. And uh, maybe you'll uh, come, you know, have an adventure with me later on. As always, if you're interested in me trying something before you buy it, you can throw it in the uh, description there. There's going to be a... Uh, um, Try to sleep. Try to sleep. I'll carry him. I need to talk to someone. There you go. There you go. Let's keep going. <coughs> so in the description, you've got an email. You can reach me. Tell me if you're interested in uh, me trying one of the games that are on your bucket list. Um, I'll absolutely do that. Thanks again. And uh, Trifecta Terminus is out. America.